G'day everyone, Matt from Crank Engineering here and uh, this is not specifically a motorcycle video but um, I'm going to give a guy a chop out and repair this um, bracket and um, I think it came off some sort of a mowing machine some Italian mowing machine built in the 70s or something so pretty much obsolete um, part so replacing it's probably not an option um, but weld repairing it might be an option so this looks like uh, cast iron to me um, with the finish so uh, there's a couple of ways of welding cast iron uh, one of them is with a high nickel uh, rod which you use with arc welding and the other way which was taught to me by my welding instructor was uh, to TIG weld it with um, these guys which are cast iron, literally cast iron rods so you're filling cast iron with cast iron so um, well, I had to had these special ordered in at the welding shop because I'd never heard of them but um, if you're chasing them, that's what they are from CIG, SIG Weld. So this is just like a normal uh, filler rod. So I just uh, need to light up and wash some of this into the, into the weld cavity. So just a couple of planning issues on how I'm actually going to conduct this weld. So this is um, fractured pretty clean off. Um, and I really want to get you know, a full penetration weld right through this surface here, uh, right through the fracture to, to, to weld it back together again. There's a couple of issues. I don't want to distort it with too much heat. I don't want to cool it down too quickly and crack it. So um, I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to tackle this, but I think what I'm going to do is uh, grind the corners of the uh, crack out into a little V and tack weld it into place to hold it and then grind out the weld on the top and on the bottom V out that uh, crack and then try and completely fill it up full of weld material. So uh, let's go start the prep and see how we go. Okay, so I probably should have mentioned at the start that um, this is there's no guarantee this is ever going to work, yeah? So um, we're really trying to keep the machine going by doing a repair. You know, it might last for a year, it might last for 10 years, it might last forever, or it might last for one week. So uh, I guess it's better than either the machine being completely out of service or having to spend mega bucks on trying to find one of these parts from overseas so you know nothing's guaranteed so we we'll just do the best we can so what i've done prep wise just ground all the paint off or wire brush the paint off and just put a couple of little v's hopefully that's visible in the camera on both sides and just g clamp this thing together because it won't fit in the vise and what i'm going to do is just uh light up and try and put a couple of tacks on those just to hold the whole thing back together again so that I can uh, grind out the rest of this crack. All right, so I've got this thing in the vise ready to go. Um, now, I'm not sure how much current I'm gonna to need to, to melt this up, but it's a pretty thick section. So I've got the foot pedal attached and I've got the amps cranked all the way up so I can adjust the current with the foot pedal and, and really get this, um, get this melted. So um, let's uh, chuck the earth lead on the G clamp. And I'll zoom in a bit here and see if we can get an arc shot as I'm doing the job. Let's see how we go. No promises here. Okay. So we've got a tack on, I'm not sure how well that's going to hold, so uh, we'll let that cool off and I'll flip it over and do the other side. Okay, so we've got two tacks on, hopefully you can see that. Um, forgot to mention this is uh, ferrous, so it's DC electrode negative and like I said about 160 or so amps on the foot pedal. So we've got two tacks in there, so the objective is, is those tacks are going to hold it and then I'm going to grind out this crack with an angle grinder or a die grinder on both sides so um, we can get all the way in with the cast iron filler. Now no one said this is going to be pretty but I want it all filled up with cast iron and we can just sand it back flush with the original profile when we're done so um, yeah, function over uh, form this time around. Alright I'm going to grind this crack out and get back to you shortly. Okay, so I've just used an angle grinder on the front here and a die grinder on the back and I've just 
chased out that crack to where I can't see it anymore so there really wouldn't be much material left between these two sides because I've veed it out on both sides so the intent will be that um, you know I might do the back first and weld this up and then when I light up on this side hopefully we'll get through to the good material on the other side so that's the plan anyway so I'll set it up in the vise and we'll, we'll see how we go all right let's see how we go Okay, so let's fill that side up. Let's Okay, so after I heated it up on the back and welded it, I noticed the crack was visible again on the front, on the top side. So I've gone and just ground it out again until I can't see it. So hopefully we're down to the bare metal or to the weld on the other side. So we'll do this side and uh, let's see how it looks. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that so far. Just rotate it around to the far side down here so we can get a shot on that. Okay, 
Okay, so I got gravity pulled this through the back a little bit, so I will run another light pass at the top. I need to let my sand back, it's all flush. I'll do it off camera, cheers. Alright, so like I said earlier, this wasn't supposed to be pretty. It's supposed to be effective, and I knew I was going to be able to sand it back to the profile of the surface, original surface anyway, so I'm not worried it's a little bit proud. I'm going to sand that back now and try and match it up with the rest of the profile so it uh, looks pretty much as good as new. Um, other than that, there might be a bit of distortion in this tapped hole here, so I'm going to go measure the thread and I might just run a tap through that to clean it up and make sure it's still um, still functional when we when we give it back. So I'll go clean this weld up and be back to you shortly. Okay, so here's what we're left with after the uh, repair. I've just sanded and ground uh, back to approximately the profile of the original and I'm just going to give it a quick coat of primer so it doesn't start rusting and that's pretty much it. So. Now this is a piece of machinery but it could be applicable to an engine cover or a piece of a housing or something on a motor bike but um, that's one way of doing cast iron repairs, that's the way I was taught so it seemed to work okay so um, yeah hope that was useful, cheers.